show. Blippi the Excavator! I can't wait to see him. He's my favourite. <laughs> Let's take a shortcut through the construction site. Buster, are you huh? sure? Absolutely. <gasps> uh, maybe we took a wrong turn. <laughs> Diggly, how do we open the door? Uh, there's a button on the other side. <gasps> We're going to miss Blippi's show. This is a disaster. Ha, huh. Diggly, do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that sounds good! <laughs> Whoa, groovy! Guys, keep going! <laughs> hmm. Buster, what's the matter? Nothing. It's just, you guys are all so good at making music, but, but I can't do that. <sighs> but Buster, our song is missing the most important thing, words. You can sing, Buster. Oh, I don't know. You can do it, Buster. Aha! Start the music, bump a bunch, let's move. <gasps> I can't wait to see this Blippi the Excavator concert. <laughs> wait, what's that sound? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. That was amazing. You kids are really good. See, Buster, you can do it. The gate is open. Thanks, Mr. Rubble. We can see Blippi after all. Yay! Bumper bunch, let's move. <laughs> Wait for me! The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. It looks like you're all covered in mud. You had a lot of fun splashing through those muddy puddles. <laughs> it looks like Buster might need a wash. I'm not sure if he thinks so. Here comes the city bus. Oh dear, he doesn't look very impressed at how dirty Buster is. It looks like Buster has finally realized just how messy he looks. That's right, Buster. You're covered in mud. Is that a sign for a car wash? <laughs> Great idea, Buster. Off he goes to the car wash to clean himself up. Oh, poor Buster. He's too scared to go inside. It does look very scary, doesn't it? Go on, Buster. You can do it. You need to get clean. You're so dirty. He's going for it. Buster is being very brave indeed. One, two, three. Oh, no. You were so close, Buster. Oh, he sounds very impatient. Buster, take a deep breath. You can do it. Huh? But the sounds are so scary. Go on, Buster, you can do it. You're almost there. Ready, set, go! <laughs> You're doing it, Buster! It tickles. That's not so bad, is it? And out he comes! There! That wasn't so bad, was it, Buster? All sparkly and clean. Looking good. Wow, well done, Buster. Nice and clean. That car wash wasn't so scary after all. Go, 
Hello, Buster! I think Buster is sleeping again. Where are you, Buster? Look at all the huh? giant colored huh? balls and toys. Huh? It looks like a great place for an adventure. Let's see what else Buster can find. <laughs> wow! Look at that teddy bear. Look how big it is. He looks soft and cuddly. Aw, that's it, Buster. Have a nice big cuddle. He looks so cuddly. Oh no, Buster. What's that noise? It's a giant claw. Huh? I think Buster is inside a giant claw machine. Buster, watch out. It's going to get you. Go, Buster. Oh, no. <gasps> Buster, it was just a bad dream. Look, it's Scout. It looks like Buster is still a bit shaken up. But you don't need to worry anymore, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Buster, Scout has something to show you. <laughs> I wonder what it is. <laughs> oh no, it's a claw machine. Buster looks frightened. <laughs> Scout's not scared of it. Maybe it's fun. Don't worry, Buster. Scout's with you. <gasps> Look, Buster, it's that teddy. Why don't you try and win it? Come on, Buster, just be brave. You can do it. Okay, Buster, let's get this teddy. Take it easy. That looks about right. Okay, here goes. Did you get it? What's that? Oh, it's a little yellow bus. That toy looks just like you, Buster. Huh? <laughs> that makes Scout and Buster laugh. Buster has gotten over his fear of the claw machine now. Windy day at the park. Buster and Daddy Bus are here for a fun day out. Daddy Bus has a surprise for Buster. What could it be? Oh, look, it's a kite. Buster gets ready to fly it. Daddy Bus pushes it up into the air. Wow, it's flying so high. Well done, Buster. Look, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. Oh no! A big gust of wind has blown the kite away! It's caught on Monty, and he hasn't noticed! Don't worry, Buster. Daddy has a plan. Oops! Watch out, Daddy Bus! Whoa! Great header! Go, Buster! Bandit and Ash look very confused. Where are they going? Buster is trying to get Monty's attention. But he's not looking where he's going. Watch out! Oh no! Buster has driven straight into a muddy puddle. He's stuck in the mud. Daddy heaves him out. Great teamwork, guys. Uh-oh, a tree has fallen across the road. But that won't stop them. Daddy Bus flies right over the log. And Buster slides straight underneath. Wow, that was awesome. Quick, there's Monty. Looks like Daddy Bus has an idea. There's a huge pile of mud and they're splashing through it. What are they doing? They've drawn a picture of their kite in the mud and Monty has finally noticed the kite wrapped around him. Oops. Buster gets his kite back. Thank you, Monty. Hold tight, Buster. Phew, that was a close one. Buster, Mommy Bus, and Ash are at the Soft Play Center. How exciting. Looks like Buster wants to play in the big kids section, but he's not quite big enough yet. Wow, this is amazing. Ash is very excited. But Buster thinks he's too old for soft play. They're having so much fun. Look at them go. But Buster doesn't want to join. 
Now they're bouncing on the trampoline. Whee! That does look like lots of fun, Buster. Nope, he's still not going to play. What is Ash running from? Oh, look! It's Captain Mommy! Arg! <laughs> Quick! Run away, Ash! He's escaped to the ball pit! That looks like so much fun! Now Buster wants to join in! Quick! The captain is going to catch you! Go, Buster! Buster is really getting into this now! Ahoy, me hearties! <gasps> what was that? <laughs> gotcha! It's Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash to the rescue! Run away! <laughs> Look at them go! Watch out, Captain Mommy! Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash have saved the day! See, Buster? The soft play center was lots of fun after all! Hey there, Buster! Oh, what's that? A soccer ball. Huh? Oh, look, Buster! All of your friends are lined up to play a soccer game. And they need one more player. Go on, Buster! This is going to be so much fun! Kick off! Aw, <laughs> oh, too slow, Buster! <laughs> CJ, the cement mixer, is going for a shot. Can Jesse Jeep save it? Come on, Jesse, you can do it. Oh, nearly, but goal! Nice shooting, CJ. Great header, Buster. What a kick, Scout. Great block, Digger. <laughs> Scout has played the ball of Digger. Scout's making a run for the goal. Go, Scout, you can do it. No one can tackle her. Goal! Way to go, Scout. Jesse to Scout. Scout kicks it on. Great kick, Digger, straight to Bandit. Oh, that was a bit rough, Bandit. Is Bandit going to score? Can Jesse save it this time? Oh, no! Jesse burst the ball. Is that the end of the game? <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Otis has a spare ball. The game's back on. It's really heating up now. Buster's going for a run at the goal. Oh, no. Bandit bus shoved Buster. That's a foul. Good referee, Robin. Bandit's been given a red card. Robin's sending Bandit off. That's what happens when you play too rough. Now Buster gets to take a penalty shot. Come on, Buster. Goal! You did it, Buster! You won the game! And you won a nice trophy, too! That was so much fun! I wonder what Buster has seen. A soft play park? Oh, wow! Look, there's Scout and Digger making a bridge. Perfect for Scout to go under. What's that over there? I think it's a ball pit? Yes, it is! Go on, Buster. You know you want to. Woo! Good jump, Buster. Oh, look, it's Billy the Bulldozer. He's jumping on the trampoline. He looks like he's having lots of fun. Wow, Digger, you're really good on the monkey bars. Keep going. I wonder why Billy is pushing all those soft play shapes. Oh, it's for Digger to land on. Great landing, Digger. Ooh, Scout, be careful. That looks difficult to balance. Oh, wow, Scout, you're a pro. Ready, steady, go! Who's going to win? It's very close. Scout finishes first. Well done, Scout. Maybe next time, Buster. That looked really fun. I think Digger wants to play hide and seek. Good idea. Okay, Buster. You start counting while the others hide. Oh, good idea, Scout and Billy. That's a great hiding place. Digger's going to hide in the ball pit. And Billy at the top of the slide. Coming, ready or not. Can you find your friends, Buster? Where could they be? Hmm, not there. Don't worry, Buster, you'll find them. You've just got to keep looking. There's Billy. 
Great spot, Buster. <laughs> Only two left. That looks funny. Oh, there's Scout. Well done. One to go. Let's check the ball pit. Oh, Digger. Great hiding spot. What a great game. Digger's having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drum. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along. And all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four. There. That sounds even better than before. At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy. What a kind thing Buster did. One, two. Ready or not, here I come. Next stop, hide and seek. <laughs> hmm, how to find my friends? Hey, I'm Diggly. According to my calculations, piles of leaves make excellent hiding spots. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm Speedy Scout. Frum, frum, frum. No one can find me! <laughs> Phew! Beep beep! Found you! <laughs> there! My 575th pile of leaves! Done! Go Rubble! <laughs> hey! Why don't you be more careful, you little tire skidders? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mr. Rubble, and I always ruin everyone's fun. Near, near, near. Ha ha! The perfect hiding spot. Ooh! I don't ruin everyone's fun, do I? <laughs> I guess. Oh, nobody likes me! Oh, Mr. Rubble's really upset. Did I do that? Oh, I didn't mean it. I feel so bad. Go, Buster! Found you, Buster. Found you too, Diggly! Hmm? Forget hide and seek, guys. We need to help Mr. Rubble. Mr. Rubble! <laughs> no! It's bad. We hurt his feelings. And we need to cheer him up! Next stop! Leaf cleaner! Bunch reporting for 
for duty. We, <gasps> uh, I wanted to say sorry for making fun of you. So we cleaned up all the leaves. <laughs> wow, you kids have done a great job. I did it. I won hide and seek. Say, Mr. Rubble, why don't we tidy up this last pile together? <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, Buster! The new Bumper Trumpet 3000! The loudest siren in all of Weeville! <laughs> Whoa! Where did you get that, Bandit? The town circle. But hurry, there's only three left. <gasps> Buster! Oh, I really, really want one of those! Then let's get one! Come on, Scout! I know the way! Please take the speedy way. Next stop, Bumper Trumpet 3000! Speedy Scout's gonna get that super siren! <gasps> oh, traffic jam! We'll be stuck here for ages! Hmm, I know a faster way! Huh? Please stay on the speedy way. Nuh-uh, sat -nav. This way is faster. A bus always knows the fastest way. Huh? Please turn around. Uh, shouldn't we listen to the sat -nav? nuh -uh. This road's way faster. Red light! Huh? <laughs> Look at my new bumper trumpet 3000. I can't wait to try it out. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Road closed. Please turn around. <laughs> that silly sat nav. There's nothing wrong with this road. Danger. Wet concrete. Whoa! Ah! get that siren now. Poor Scout. She really wanted that siren. Maybe I should have listened to Satnav after all. I have to fix this. Go Buster! Come on Scout! <laughs> Let's get you that siren! Please turn left. Thanks Satnav! You have reached your stop. Uh, yes! The Bumper Trumpet 3000! Oh, it's the last one. Uh, Scout, this is for you! A police car should have a super cool siren. Buster, Scout, Diggly. Aw, you guys look so cute. Cute? I'm not cute. I'm a teary, scarifying zombie. <laughs> Don't you mean a scary, terrifying zombie? Oh. <laughs> Next stop, trick or treat. <gasps> ah! Buster's overcharged. He's going to explode. <laughs> it's okay, everyone. This paint is glow in the dark. The lights are out everywhere. Hmm. It must be a power cut. But don't worry, I'll have it fixed in no time flat. Toodles! So, it's kind of creepy in here. <laughs> Maybe it's less creepy outside? According to my calculation, Scout, it's really dark. It's really, really dark. It's okay, Buster. You've got this. Nothing to be afraid of. Not uh -uh. Yep, it's creepy out here too. Trick or treat is ruined. No one can see where they're going. Wait, I have an idea. We can use the glowy paint, then people can see where they're going. We can save trick or treat bumper bunch style. But that means 
going out in the dark. Oh. <laughs> wow, that is dark. <gasps> there might be m m monsters, but I can light it all up. Oh, yeah! Flybuster! <laughs> Yay! Scout, Diggy, we're saving Halloween. Next stop, Glow Up. Lights are fixed. <laughs> Piece of cake. Jada, wait. Uh, thanks so much, but really feel glowing in the dark. It looks kind of cool. Maybe we could turn the lights off again? <laughs> now that you mention it, it did look pretty cool. Happy Halloween! <gasps> Bright new morning, <gasps> and Buster looks so excited. Uh, it's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. <laughs> Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting! Oh no! Buster accidentally ran over the present! It's flat as a pancake! Poor Buster! It was just an accident! But wait! I think Buster has an idea! Look! Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box! And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets! There's the wooden stick, too. <laughs> and the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. <laughs> but what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. <laughs> Diggly's opening his present, and... Whoa! It's a pinata! It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes! One more smack! Look at all those sweets! An amazing birthday present! It's Buster the bus! But whoa! He sure looks sleepy! He's driving off the road. Oh, no! Buster's ended up in the muddy puddle. And now he's stuck. Poor Buster. How will he get out? The next morning, Scout visits Buster's garage. But, oh dear, Buster is nowhere to be found. Where is he? But look, muddy tracks. Scout is following them to see where Buster is. There's Diggly the Digger. Scout tells him Buster's missing. They need to find him. Scout and Diggly search together. Look, a trail of sweets. Where could it lead? Whoa, what was that? Aw, phew, it's just Robin. Scout explains that Buster is missing, and Robin agrees to help search too. They'll have a better chance of finding him if they work together. Poor Buster is lonely and cold. Scout looks behind the trees. Diggly looks beside the rocks. What's Robin seen? Some more tire tracks. Look, there's Buster. He's stuck in the mud. He's been here so long. 
Robin goes to tell Diggly and Scout that he's found oh. Buster. He's just over the hill. There's poor Buster. <laughs> Diggly and Scout can help. Working together, Diggly and Scout pull Buster out of the muddy puddle. Huh? Now Buster is free at last. He's very <laughs> grateful to his friends for rescuing him. Now he's back, Whoa. safe and sound in his garage. <laughs> Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. <laughs> Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner, but he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. <laughs> Here comes the Muddy Express. Next stop, Pookie Car Wash. Me first. Come on, Diggly. Let's put in all the bubble mix. Hmm. Uh, all of it? All of it. I love bubbles. Uh. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. seeing you here. I'm just making a cloud picture. Whoa! Monty! How? Whoa! Oh! Ah! Uh, 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 oh! Wait! I'm a genius! <laughs> Calculations. 
He's gone. For good. Oh, Buster! Hi, guys! <gasps> Buster? Is that you? Buster, you're alive! Uh-huh, and I've got a great idea for a game. Buster, Bandit, and Mira are outside playing with their soccer ball. Daddy Bus is fishing. <sighs> he hasn't caught any fish yet. Buster has some great skills. Whoa, and so does Mira. That's a big kick, Bandit. Watch out, Mira. Oh no, the ball knocked Mira's hat off. Where did it go? It's not over here. Hmm. It's definitely not over there. Mira is upset that her favorite hat is missing. Don't worry, Mira. We'll help you find it. Buster has an idea. We can look for the hat using our imagination. Now we can turn the search into a fun game. Off they go. It's time to look for that hat. Whoa, those are very big footprints. They decide to follow them and see where they go. <laughs> Stop! What's that up ahead? <gasps> it's a dinosaur! And he's wearing Mira's hat! Uh-oh! Run! They're going as fast as they can, but the dinosaur isn't far behind. And Buster spots a big volcano up ahead. They've got to get over that puddle. Buster and Mira make it, but oh no! Bandit gets stuck! Buster is trying to help Bandit get out. <gasps> Uh-oh! The dinosaur caught up with them! He looks very scary! But what's the dinosaur doing? He's seen his reflection! And I think he likes the hat. But that's Mira's hat, and she wants it back. Looks like she has an idea. <laughs> wow! Nice shot, Mira! The ball knocked the hat right off! Oh no! But looks like the hat is flying straight towards the volcano! How are they going to get it back now? Buster can do it using his imagination. It's Super Buster! Off he flies to save the hat! It's getting closer and closer to the volcano. He needs to be quick. Go, Buster! He got it! <laughs> Thanks, Buster. You're a great friend. They played a fun game, and Mira got her favorite hat back. Everything is more fun when you use your imagination. Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus. Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story. Whoa, that monster is super scary. Phew, don't worry, gang. It's only Daddy Bus. Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Hang on. What is Buster up to? He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? <gasps> it's Buster's scary shadow. Poor Scout. <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. <laughs> now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. Aha! The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! 
That served Buster right. Great job, gang. What is that? Oh, no! It's a real spooky monster! Phew! It was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood. That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. It's a brand new day, and it's time for Buster to head off to school. There's Diggly. They can go to school together. They're going to race to school. Whoosh! I wonder who will be fastest. Whoa! There's a little duckling in the road. He should be more careful. There's a mommy duck. She's trying to cross the road with her ducklings. But look out! Here comes Terry. Here comes the teacher, too. Oh, no! Phew! Thanks to Diggly and Buster, the duck family can cross the road safely. Aw, they're going to swim in that pond. Uh-oh, that duckling is walking back to the road. <laughs> Good job, Buster. Now the ducks are going back over the road. Buster and Diggly are helping them cross safely. Mommy Duck is crossing, too. Well done, everyone, for helping! <laughs> but Terry and the teacher want to get moving or they'll be late. Wait a minute. I think Buster has an idea. Hmm, what are they doing with those paints? White lines? And some signs? It's a duck crossing! Now the duck family can cross the road safely whenever they like. There's the teacher again. He's telling them to hurry up. The kids had better get to school or they'll be late. Nice work, everyone. It's Halloween and Buster is at Daddy's house. <laughs> oh, but Halloween can be scary. <laughs> Daddy Bus has an idea. He's going to tell a Halloween story. Daddy's going to tell a story of the brave wizard's adventure to find the magic gems and save Halloween. Buster the brave wizard went on an adventure. He had to find all the magic gems. There must be gems in that castle. They're guarded by a monster. This wizard must be very brave, Dad. The wizard was the bravest of all, Buster. <laughs> the hero presses on through the dark woods towards the castle. Something stirs in the darkness up ahead in the forest. What is it, Dad? A werewolf? A ghost? A were-ghost! The mysterious shadow grows larger. Is it the monster? <laughs> he found a jewel! Well done! <laughs> Finally, the wizard reached the mysterious castle. There must be more gems inside, but how to get there? He needs to lower the drawbridge, but how? The wizard could use his magic! Ha! <laughs> Good idea! The brave adventurer pushed forward inside the castle walls. Onward, into the oh. castle. How brave the wizard is. Ah! What will our hero do? Run huh? or continue? Continue, continue. Ooh. The wizard has to find the treasure and save Halloween. <laughs> but what's that behind them? It's the monster. Ah! If the wizard wants to get those magic jewels, he'll need to get past it. 
Wait, Daddy. The monster must be really lonely. Oh, I suppose so, yes. The monster is lonely. Maybe the wizard should help the monster. He needs a friend. And so the brave wizard rolled up and used his magic to make the castle all warm and bright. <laughs> the monster is you, Dad. <laughs> the monster was so grateful he gave the wizard all the magic jewels. So brave Buster <laughs> saved Halloween for everyone. Buster is at Daddy's house today. Oh, look, it's Daddy Bus. Tomorrow, Buster is going back to school. <laughs> it's going to be great. But first, they need to get ready. Daddy Bus has a checklist of everything Buster needs before he goes back to school tomorrow. <laughs> he needs his rucksack, a lunchbox, his school book, a pencil case, and a ruler. Hmm. Rucksack, check. Lunchbox, check. Everything else, check. And last but not least, the shark tooth from his holiday for show and tell. Wow! Buster needs to get a good night's sleep before school tomorrow. Good night, Buster. There goes the alarm. It must be time to get up. Oh no, Buster has gone back to sleep. Oh dear. And now he's going to be late for school. Quick, they've got to get everything ready. Huh? What does Buster need? Rucksack, check. Lunchbox, check. Pencil case and school book, check. But what is he missing? The ruler. Aha, there it is. It's time to head off for school. Wait a second, Buster forgot his shark tooth. Quick, Buster, quick. Shark tooth, check. They're going to have to race to get there on time. Go, Buster! Looks like the teacher is getting worried. All his friends are already at school and he's going to be late. Oh no! Phew, he did it, just in time. What a crazy morning. Buster is excited to spend the day with Grandpa. And Grandpa's looking at a beautiful cake. Grandpa has an idea. They should bake the cake together. Buster and Grandpa have come to the supermarket to get the ingredients. Flour, eggs, milk, and icing sugar. Uh. <laughs> Boop. Who's that? Oh. It's Mira. <laughs> Along with Terry. Buster rushes to get the ingredients. But Grandpa warns him not to be hasty. Buster's looking for flour. Bingo! He's found it! And so has Mira. Uh-oh. Looks like they've got the same list of ingredients. Whoa, they both want the same bag. Oops! Mira and Buster are in the race to find out who gets all the ingredients first. Buster's come to get the milk. He got it first. <laughs> Off he goes, Mira. <gasps> Whoops, Mira, you spooked the teacher. 
She grabbed some milk, too. <laughs> Slow down, you guys! Whoa! It's Grandpa and Terry. Both of them move very slowly. <laughs> you sure are smart and sly, Buster. Off they go again. Oh, look! There are the eggs! Oh, no! Buster dropped the eggs! And... Mira spotted the last bag of icing sugar. Mira sprints off to get it. But, oh, no! Mira lost balance and crashed into the shelf! Buster grabs the last bag of icing sugar. But Mira's upset. Buster offers her the icing sugar. And she wants him to have it. Grandpa and Terry are surprised to see Mira in a mess. Buster's got a plan. Aw, looks like Buster and Mira shared the icing sugar to bake one big cake. The cake tastes delicious. Great teamwork, Mira and Buster. Hey there, Buster. Whoa, look at all the spooky Halloween decorations. Spiders, jack-o'-lanterns, creepy. Uh-oh, what's that? It's so big and dark. Oh, I think Buster is really scared. Don't be frightened, Buster. It's just your shadow. See? It's just the lighting shining past you. Pretty cool, isn't it? Hmm, I think this is the right way to go home. Let's go, Buster. Oh, no! The lightning struck the street lamp. Now all the lights are going out. Poor Buster. I think he's scared of the dark. But wait, what's that? The full moon's come out. That'll light up the whole town like a big lantern. Come on, Buster, off we go. Oh dear me, clouds are moving over the moon again. And now there's a lightning storm coming. Oh no, Buster is scared of the storm too. Come on, Buster, you can be brave. It's just thunder and lightning. That's right, it's not scary, it's spectacular. Nice one, Buster. You were brave and faced your fears. <laughs> Look, it's Tony the truck. He looks even more frightened by the storm than Buster. Good job, Buster. Go and help Tony. Make him feel safe. There's no need to be afraid. See, the storm is over and the moon is back. And that's just your shadow. Happy Halloween, Buster and Tony. <laughs> it's a cold winter's night. What's Buster up to? Oh, wow, a drawing of some fireworks. Buster's so excited because tonight he's going to a real fireworks display. But wait, he's forgotten something. A nice warm hat. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now it's time to go and watch the fireworks. <laughs> oh, what's that? Fireworks make loud noises. Oh, dear. They frightened Buster. He doesn't like loud noises. Aw, poor Buster. He's shaking. What's Mommy doing? Oh, Buster's toy car makes loud noises. But that's not scary. What's that loud noise? It's Grandpa with a soccer whistle. Buster loves soccer. He doesn't oh. mind that loud noise either. <laughs> What's that loud noise? Huh? Oh, it's popcorn popping. Buster <laughs> loves popcorn. 
He doesn't mind that noise. <laughs> wow, the fireworks are so pretty. <sighs> Maybe loud noises aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Buster's going to give it another try. Whoa! Look at those colorful fireworks! It's Buster! Time to wake up! It's a bright new day! Look, Mommy has made Buster's breakfast already! Jam on toast! Buster's favorite! Ouch! Buster drove over that toy! It's okay. Mommy can kiss it all better. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh. Now Buster can go out and play soccer. Ooh. How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> now Buster is playing in the park with Scout. Nice one, Scout. <laughs> but oh no! The soccer ball has gotten stuck in the tree. But look! Mommy has knocked the ball free again. Well done, Mommy. Now they can keep on playing. What's this? Mommy and Buster are painting a picture. It's so much fun to paint together. Look! The sun has a face. But oh dear, Buster is sleepy. It's been such a busy day. Time for Buster to go to bed now. First, Mommy reads Buster a bedtime story. Aw, good night, Buster. It was so much fun spending the day playing with Mommy. She really is the best. <laughs> Daddy Bus and Buster are driving across the hills. Oh, look! It's a baby deer! What's it running from? Huh? It's Traxon in the train! Oh, no! What's wrong? Traxon can't stop! Quick! Buster and Daddy Bus to the rescue! Oh, no! He's speeding up! Daddy Bus is calling Otis the police car. This is an emergency. Ah, there's a branch on the tracks. Daddy Bus swoops in and moves it. Hooray! Well done, Daddy Bus. Looks like the tracks change directions up ahead. Daddy Bus and Buster are pulling the levers to change the direction of the tracks. But oh no! Terry is crossing the tracks! Change them quick! That was close! Now Traxon is going round and round! He's getting dizzy! Oh no! Watch out! Phew! Daddy was just in time! Looks like Buster has a plan! <laughs> they need to direct Traxon towards the hill! The hill is slowing him down! He stopped! Hooray! Go Buster! <laughs> Otis has arrived on the scene. This doesn't look like an emergency. Oops. It's Halloween. Ash and Scout are at Buster's house, ready to go trick-or-treating. Whoa! That zombie costume looks amazing! Bandit is not impressed. Boo! Nope, Bandit doesn't want to join in. He thinks dressing up is for babies. Buster, Scout, and Ash head off on their trick-or-treating adventure. 
Hang on, Bandit would really like some Halloween sweets. <gasps> Looks like he's got an idea. <gasps> Bandit has copied Buster's costume. They look exactly the same. He's arrived at Terry's farm looking like Buster. <laughs> Trick or treat? Wow, look at all those sweeties. Oh look, Buster, Ash, and Scout have arrived. Some sweeties for Scout? Some sweeties for Ash? Hang on. Nope, Terry thinks he's already given Buster lots of sweets. But it was actually Naughty Bandit. Poor Buster. Ash and Scout like how they look in their reflections. What is that? A sweet wrapper? And another? It's Bandit eating all the sweets! Buster has a plan. Ash and Scout are pretending to think that Bandit is Buster. Bandit is looking at himself in the reflection. Wait a second, now there are two bandits! Bandit is a bit confused and a bit scared. Where have the others gone? Boo! Buster's plan worked! Bandit has been caught in the act! And here's Terry with more sweets! He's confused by the two zombies. He's given them to Bandit again. But Bandit is sharing it with Buster. What a funny mix-up! Happy Halloween! Hey there, Buster. <laughs> What's that poster there? <laughs> hmm, a fire truck? Sure looks exciting, doesn't it? Look, it's Ashley the fire truck. <laughs> I think Buster wants to join the fire brigade. <laughs> Go on, Buster. Time to get ready for your first day on the job. Just a few little changes, and... <laughs> wow! Look at that! Buster really is a fire truck. He's got a ladder, a siren, and a water hose. Uh-oh, the fire alarm. There's a fire somewhere. Ashley has to go and take care of it. You stay here, Buster. Hey, it's Tony the truck. <laughs> Watch out for that puddle! <gasps> oh no! That falling box started a fire! At the fire station! What are we going to do? <gasps> Quick, Buster the fire truck! Put that fire out! Uh-oh! The fire has spread to the roof! Keep blasting water, Buster! Hooray! Robin is here to help! And Ashley's back, too. <gasps> you can do it if you work together. Two fire trucks are better than one. Phew! The fire is out at last. Nice work, Buster and Ashley. <laughs> It's that poster again. Now it's Buster on the poster. Whoa, you really are a hero, Buster. <laughs> Today, Buster and his family are having a picnic. Buster is so excited. <laughs> Mommy Bus is off to get Grandpa. And whilst she's gone, Buster and Bandit need to prepare the picnic. First, they have to lay down the picnic blanket. Whoa, the wind has blown it away. It looks like a cape. It's Super Buster. Bandit wants a cape too. 
and it's a tug of war. Buster is imagining that he is a superhero. Super Buster flying through the sky. It's bad guy Bandit. Mwahaha! He's stolen the picnic. Oh no! Super Buster has got to save it. They are chasing through the sky. Go, Super Buster, go! You can catch him. Oh no! Bad Guy Bandit is aiming at Super Buster with his laser shapes. But Super Buster is too fast. Wow, look at him go! Hooray! Super Buster has saved the picnic. But what is that? It's a giant blue laser ball. Oh no! What is Super Buster going to do? Aha! He's using the flagpole as a bat. Bring it on, bad guy bandit. Great shot, Super Buster. Whack. <laughs> wow, that was such a fun game. But oh no, they've made a huge mess. And Mommy Bus and Grandpa are on their way. What are they going to do? Quick, they've got to clear it up. As superheroes, of course. Super Buster and Bad Guy Bandit are clearing up the city. Even superheroes need to clean up after themselves. Just in time. Great teamwork, guys. <laughs> yum, yum. Delicious. And all that superhero work has left them very hungry. Buster and Diggly are having so much fun playing with that remote-controlled car. Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Look at it go! Look, there's Mommy! She's coming to tell them lunch is ready. And she's reminding Buster to put his toys away. Buster is putting the controller away, but look, the car is still outside. Now Buster and Diggly are back to carry on playing. But, oh no, they can't see the toy car anywhere. Where could it be? Could it be in the toy box? No, maybe it's in the dustbin. No. Maybe it's buried under the autumn leaves. It must be here somewhere. <gasps> Wait, I think Buster has an idea. If they use the control, listen. The car's engine. Where's the noise coming from? <laughs> Under that pile of leaves? <laughs> Hooray! They found the toy car! But wait, now the controller is missing. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Well spotted, Buster. Now Diggly and Buster can have fun playing with their remote controlled car again. But this time, they'll remember to put their toys back in the toy box when they're finished with them. Good job. Wow, what a beautiful day it is today. I think Buster is feeling a little hot. Hey, look, Scout has the right idea. An ice cream will cool you down, Buster. And it looks delicious. Do you hear that, Buster? It sounds like Iggy, the ice cream van. Hey there, Iggy. Buster wants an ice cream. Look at all the different flavors. Ooh. Chocolate chip, vanilla Ooh. sprinkles, triple Ooh. towered scoop, Ooh. raspberry swirl, strawberry and vanilla with chocolate <laughs> sauce.
Looks like Buster's made his choice. Wow, thanks, Iggy. Oh, that was quick, Buster. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Another one already? Oh, hey, Digger. He's joined the queue for an ice cream. Another ice cream coming right up. Buster, you really want a third ice cream? You're not the only one who wants ice cream, Buster. Mmm, yummy. A vanilla with a chocolate flake. The queue is getting bigger. And Buster wants a fourth ice cream. Yummy, this one has a cherry on top. Okay now, Buster, I think you've had enough. Digger and Billy are waiting patiently for their ice cream, and you are being greedy. Looks like Iggy has had enough of Buster's behavior. Ha, <laughs> you want more ice cream, Buster? Here you go. Ha, <laughs> look, it's Buster the ice cream. It's definitely still missing some toppings, though. A tasty chocolate flake and a cherry. Yummy. <laughs> that has definitely cooled Buster down. <laughs> Billy is enjoying that cherry. And Digger is tucking into a big scoop off the top. This Buster ice cream is really tasty. I'm sure Buster will think twice before he's greedy again. Thanks, Iggy, for some wonderful tasty ice cream. Ice cream really is as good as it looks. Hello, Buster. Whoa, look at all that spooky slime. You're splashing it everywhere. Look, it's Terry the tractor. I don't think he wants to get covered in slime. Look how careful he's being. Zoom! <laughs> Wait, look out, Buster. You're heading straight for Terry. Whew, that was a close one. Watch out, Buster. <laughs> Oh dear, you splashed Terry with slime. I don't think he's very impressed. Hawk Buster goes again, having fun in the green slime. Watch out! Oh no, Buster is stuck in the sticky slime. Dear, oh dear, he really is stuck tight. The sun's going down and it's getting dark. Spooky! I hope Buster's going to be okay. Look everyone, it's Terry Tractor. He's come to save the day. Terry doesn't look too happy about it, though. Please help Buster, Terry. He just needs one big push. Ah. Can he do it? One, two, here we go! <laughs> Hooray! Thanks, Terry. <laughs> oh, Buster. Thank goodness Terry Tractor was there to save Buster from the sticky green slime. <laughs> Bye, Terry. Bye, Buster. Buster, Ash, and Mira are playing hide-and-seek tag in the soft play area. There's Buster hiding in the ball pit. Ash has found him. Now Ash is trying to tag Buster. Quick, Buster, Ash is right behind you. Oops, looks like you found Mira. Tag, well done, Ash, you got him. There's Daddy Bus. He says it's time to go. But Buster, Ash, and Amira don't want to leave yet. Looks like they have a plan. Run! And the game is on. Daddy Bus is trying to catch Buster, but Buster is too quick. Almost. Oh no, Daddy Bus has crashed into the ball pit. It's the perfect time to find somewhere to hide. Where should they go? Mira has found a place behind the play blocks. Buster has seen a space behind the slide. But Ash is already there. Quick, Buster, quick! Daddy Bus is back on the hunt for them. Now where is Buster? There he is, but Daddy Bus hasn't seen him yet. Daddy Bus spots some wheels by the play blocks. Hmm, who could it be? <laughs> it's Mira! Well found, Daddy Bus. Hmm. Now where could the others be? What was that moving behind the slide? Boo! <laughs> There's Ash! But where's Buster? There he is, hiding behind the tunnel. Looks like he has an idea to distract Daddy Bus. <laughs> What's that? 
a bouncy ball. Daddy Bus is going to investigate. Now Buster can find a new hiding spot. That's very sneaky. <laughs> Maybe Buster can use that trampoline to help him hide. Hmm. Daddy Bus still can't find Buster anywhere. He's found a new hiding spot in the ball pit. Oh well. Daddy Bus, Ash, and Mira decide that it's time to go. Oh no! Did they leave without Buster? We found you! <laughs> that was very sneaky. Well done, guys! Now it's really time to go. What a fun day! It's Buster the bus. I wonder what he's up to today. An Easter egg hunt. There's one Easter egg. Nice work, Buster. There's another. That's two. And three, four, five, so many! Whoa, that's a lot of Easter eggs, Buster. Mmm, they look yummy. Buster loves chocolate eggs. Tasty! Buster's eating as many eggs as he wants. Good morning, Buster. Oh dear, Buster looks very unwell. He has a tummy ache. I think he ate too many chocolate Easter eggs. Here comes Scout the car to see if Buster's okay. He looks really sick. Poor Buster. Scout is going to take him to Amber the ambulance. She'll be able to help. There's Amber. She always knows how to make little buses feel better. Yup, Buster is sick all right. But luckily, Amber has some medicine to help. Open wide, Buster. That'll make you feel better. But that's not all. If Buster wants to fix his tummy ache, he needs to eat some healthy food, like an apple. There, that'll soothe Buster's grumbly tummy. <laughs> the next day, Buster is feeling much better. Oh, hey, it's Diggly the Digger. What's Diggly got there? Uh-oh, I think Buster has had enough chocolate Easter eggs for one Easter. <laughs> hey there, Buster. Oh, wow, look at that. You're in the Wild West. <laughs> and check out your cowboy hat. That must be the sheriff with his shiny gold star. Oh, look! A lasso! <laughs> Great work, Buster! Now you're a proper cowboy! There's Terry! Tip your hat, cowboy, and say hello! I don't think Terry looks too impressed! Wait! <gasps> it's Bandit Bus! And what's that on his back? A sack? I think he's robbed the sweet shop! What a villain he is! You must stop him, Buster! <laughs> Quick, Buster! He's getting away! Chase after him! Wake up, Sheriff! There's a robber on the loose! They're speeding alongside the train tracks! Faster, Buster! You can't let Bandit escape! Wow! Bandit jumped in front of Suki the train! Wait for the train to pass and… Where did he go? Oh no! He's going the other way! That was sneaky! After him, Buster! Bandit is trying to lose Buster in the cactus field. Careful, Buster. Those are really spiky. You've almost caught him. Look out! Are you okay, Buster? Oh, no! The cactus has punctured your tire. Oh, no. You'll never catch him with a flat tire. Wait, huh? of course! The lasso! Rope him up, Buster. One, two, three, go! Great! You did it! You caught Bandit! And here's Sheriff Otis. I'm sure he's really grateful. There. Bandit is in the jailhouse where he belongs. Oh, wow! Sheriff Buster. What an exciting dream that was. Happy trails. Hello, Tony Truck. Hmm. 
pony doesn't seem to be keeping an eye on the road. Oh, look! It's Frankie the Frog. He's come to say hello. Watch out, Tony! Phew! That was a close one. Oh, no. It looks like Tony has lost some of his packages. You have to be careful next time, Frankie. Tony almost hit you. Ha, ah, what a cheeky frog. Look! Tony has left behind some of his packages. It looks like a bottle of bubble bath. It looks like Frankie has had a great idea. Ha, look at him go! Where are you rolling off to now? There's bubbles coming out of the bottle. Hey, look, it's Buster the bus. I think Buster wants to see where Frankie is rolling. There's even more bubbles now. It looks like you've got a pair of bubbly glasses, Buster. Hey, Scout, why don't you come along too on this bubbly adventure? Scout wants to play in the bubbles. The bubbles are flying everywhere. Oh, I like your hat, Scout. <laughs> you look funny with a mustache, Buster. It looks like Frankie might be heading for that lake. I think this cheeky frog has had an idea. Into the lake he rolls. Look at him go. Bubbles everywhere. Wow. He's made a bubble bath. Look at all the bubbly bubbles bubbling. Go on, Buster and Scout. Jump on in. They're having so much fun playing in the bubbles. Ha, it looks like Frankie is the bubble captain of Bubble Lake. Here comes Scout with a gigantic bubble splash. So many bubbles everywhere. Oh, where's Frankie gone? There he is. It's time to go, I think. Bye-bye, Frankie. Thanks for a bubbly adventure. Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout. What's Buster spotted? Oh, look! It's Diggly and Daisy! Buster wants to help. But safety first! Look at that awesome builder's hat! Buster is helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys! Now they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble. Oh, no! The crate is sinking into the mud. Go, Buster, go! Oh, no! Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well. Daisy to the rescue. Nope. That didn't work. What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane. And he's pulling Buster out. It's working. Just a little bit more. Oops. Now they're all stuck. And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed. But Buster's got a plan. He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate so they can pull themselves out. Brilliant idea, Buster. Diggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times. But they need to work together. And that's it. Hooray! It worked! Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them. So they quickly pull the crate out. Everything is back to normal. Well, not quite back to normal. They're all covered in mud. It's time to get cleaned up. Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose. There, that's much better. <laughs> now it's time for a spot of lunch. Yum, yum. But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud. Don't worry, Mr. Rubble. 
They know just what to do. Buster the Bus has come out to play. Watch out for that red paint, Buster. <laughs> oh, Buster's driven right through it. Look, Buster, you've painted some red lines with your tires. <laughs> I think Buster's had an idea. Nice work. You've painted a circle. A circle is round. Huh? It's the same shape as your wheel, Buster. Now you've colored the circle in, Buster. <laughs> it's a red circle. Oh, hey, Scout. Come and join the fun. We're learning shape. What shape is Scout painting? It's a square. A blue square. A square has four equal sides. <laughs> hey there, Digger. Digger has come to paint shapes with Buster and Scout. <laughs> what shape will Digger paint? Digger isn't quite as fast as Buster and Scout. It's okay, Digger will be finished soon. It's a triangle. A triangle has three sides. <laughs> a yellow triangle. <laughs> Digger took so long to paint a shape that Buster and Scout have fallen asleep. Wake up, you two. What other shapes can we draw? A green rectangle. Great work, Buster. A gold star. That looks fantastic, Scout. And a lovely pink heart. Digger is painting a diamond. Oh, wow, look at all the colors go. It's a wonderful rainbow diamond. So many different colored shapes. Learning the shapes was so much fun. We made a square, circle, triangle, star, heart, rectangle, and a diamond. Well done, everyone. It's evening time, and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow, cookies. They look so tasty. Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy. Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer. But Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now, everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster too. They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. Look! Buster has arrived early for school today. There's Scout and Diggly. Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil. Oh dear, the blackboard is wrecked. Scout slipped too. Phew! Oh no! The clock is broken too! What a mess! And here comes the teacher! 
They'll need to clean everything up really quick. But the board is too heavy for Scout. And Diggly can't pick up the letters. Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces. I think Buster has a plan. Uh -huh. They can swap oh. jobs. <laughs> Scout can collect up all the letters. <laughs> then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. <laughs> Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. Just in time, here comes the teacher. Well? Everything looks normal. <laughs> Apart from that letter. <laughs> and the time isn't right. <laughs> and the number. One, two, three, four. Good as new. <laughs> Oh no, Buster looks really ill. <laughs> Hello, Scout. I think Scout wants to play. I don't think Buster is well enough to play today. Buster is feeling really ill. Quick, Scout, go and get some help. Oh, poor Buster. It'll be okay. We all get poorly now and then. Oh, look! Scout has brought Amber the ambulance to have a look at Buster. Great idea, Scout. Amber will know what to do to make Buster feel better. It looks like Amber the ambulance is helping Buster back into his garage. Let's see if she can find what's wrong with Buster. Firstly, let's check Buster's tires. Oh, look! This one has lost all of its air. It needs pumping up. There we go. That's better. Buster looks better already. Oh, but you're still a bit under the weather. Ah, oh. uh, yes. Let's check Buster's temperature with a thermometer. It doesn't look good, Buster. It's time for Amber to check Buster's engine. Oh, no. Buster's leaking oil. No wonder he's not feeling well. Amber will fix this with her spanner. It's okay, Buster. It'll be done soon. Just a few more turns. There we go. Great job, Amber. Buster looks like he's back to his normal self again. I think you're well enough to go out and play, Buster. Oh, he seems very pleased. That's the Buster we know and love. It's time for Amber to head off. Bye, Amber. Thank you for looking after Buster. <laughs> Off Scout and Buster go to play. Hey there, Bye. Buster. Oh, wow, a soccer ball. Ooh. Look, it's Scout. She wants to play. <laughs> Great kick, Buster. <laughs> nice one, Scout. <laughs> Who's that driving down the road? It's Tony the truck. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, no, Buster. <clears throat> Be careful where you kick the ball. Watch out huh? for Tony. Ouch, that must have hurt. Hmm. I hope Tony is okay. <gasps> Buster, you have to be more careful. Watch out for that pin. Oh no, ah! it's punctured Buster's tire. Oh? Look, Scout, wow. Tony the truck needs help. I know who hmm. we need. Oh. Yay, oh. Amber the ambulance. Huh? Good job, Scout. Hmm. It sure is an eventful day. Hmm. Hmm. I hope you feel better soon, Tony. Oh, Buster, that sure looks painful. Don't worry now, it was only an accident. Tony is in safe hands and Amber will come back shortly. Buster, look, it's Amber. Let's get you fixed. <sighs> Off to the garage, Buster goes. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, Tony looks Ooh. great. <laughs> Buster is getting a new tire. All fixed. Mm. Oh, Buster, wow. accidents happen. Be more careful next time. <laughs> uh.
great kick, Buster. <laughs> oh no, not again. Buster is being more careful. Look huh? left, look huh? right. Now that's more like it. <laughs> well done, Buster. Over here, Buster. <laughs> Buster and his friends look so excited. What's going on? Oh, wow! Mommy has set up an Easter egg hunt for them. What's that? I think Scout is really excited about having some yummy chocolate. Ready and go! Everyone's going to look for the Easter eggs. Oops! Try not to bump into each other. Nice! Ash found an egg in that tree. He's rushing back and putting it in the basket so they can all share it later. Good job, Ash! Ooh, I think Buster has seen an egg, too. Wait, this is just the wrapping paper. Where's the chocolate egg gone? Buster's disappointed. But look, there's another egg by the bush. Hmm, this one's just wrapping, too. Someone has taken the chocolate. Very strange. Oh, dear. Ash is worried. They haven't found enough eggs to share around. But it's okay. They'll just have to keep looking. What's this? Another empty bit of wrapping. There's Bandit. He's sneaky. Maybe he's been stealing all the chocolate? He's got some eggs. But look. He's putting them in the basket. It's not Bandit who's stealing them. Look, there goes Scout. She'll know what to do. But wait. Is that chocolate around Scout's mouth? She's the one stealing all the eggs. Look, Scout hid all the eggs she found behind that bush. She loves chocolate so much, she wanted them all to herself. But she's very sorry. She knows sharing is the right thing to do. Buster forgives her, but they'd better clean that chocolate off her face. There, Mommy can share them out equally. Ash, Bandit, Buster, Scout. Everyone gets some yummy Easter eggs. Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close! Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh! Skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun! They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea! Bandit is going first. Swish! He skidded all the way over there! But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom! Whoa! Scout went even further than Bandit! Now it's Ash's turn. He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh! Uh-oh, he's skidding out of control. Whoa! Oops! Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash! And there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. Merry Christmas, everyone! Santa's Grotto has come to Wheelieville! Ho, ho, ho! Time for your presents! Oh, wow! I can't wait to get my present! Oh! Oh, tumbling <laughs> tires! This is gonna take forever! Ash, look! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> We 
can sneak in through the back door. But Buster, isn't that cheating? Oh, come on. We'll just have a peek inside and find our presents. Next stop, Santa's Grotto. so bad. You know, kids, if you wait until Christmas Day to open your presents, it's much more magical. Oh! Come on, Ash. Let's fix this. <laughs> Next stop, clean up! <laughs> ah! Spick and span! Merry Christmas, kids! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> huh? No, Ash. <laughs> hmm? It'll be more magical if we wait until Christmas Day! <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Merry Christmas, kids! <laughs> <laughs> Buster and his friends are on a holiday at the beach. What a fun day out! Wow, the sea looks amazing! What is that in the water? Ah, it's a shark! Buster is very scared! Oops, watch out, Iggy! Mommy Bus is taking a nap on the beach. Buster is trying to tell her what he saw. It had scary fins and jumped out of the water. It was a shark. Hmm. Hmm. Mommy Bus can't see anything. Don't worry, Buster. Everything is fine. And Mommy Bus is going back to her nap. Buster is still very scared. I wonder if the shark is still there. Ah, it's a shark! Go, Buster, go! Oops, not again. Buster is still frightened, but he wants to get over his fear. He's going back again. There's the shark. Wait a second, what's wrong? <gasps> the shark has a sore, wobbly tooth. That's why it was jumping out of the water. Don't worry, shark. Buster can help. He's trying to get mommy's attention. She's awake. She's got her red kit and mommy bus to the rescue. Splat! <laughs> yum, yum. Mommy bus is removing the shark's wobbly tooth. It's out! Hooray! The shark feels so much better now. Well done, Buster. He can't wait to show the tooth to his friend. It's Buster the Butt. He looks very happy, doesn't he? Hmm. But, oh no. It started to rain. And there's some scary thunder and lightning. 
lightning. Uh oh, it's a thunderstorm. Oh, look out for Scout Buster. Oh dear, Buster is so scared of the thunderstorm, he has left Scout behind in the rain. And now her wheel is stuck in the puddle. The lightning is everywhere now. Phew, Buster's safe and sound in the garage. But what about Scout? <gasps> Look, he has seen Scout. She really is stuck in that puddle. Will Buster be brave enough to go and help her? Scout's really struggling. Poor Buster. He is so scared of the thunder and lightning, isn't he? You can do it, Buster. Wow, the lightning is so bright and scary. Yay! Go, Buster! He looks very determined to help Scout now. A quick push should do the trick. Yay! Scout's free! Look how happy she is. Well done, Buster. Ooh, the thunder is still very loud, though. Oh, but look! Buster has overcome his fear. Buster and Scout are happily heading back to the garage to get in from the rain. Ooh, ha -ha, that thunder just made both of them jump! Bye, Buster! <laughs> Bye, Scout! Buster and Ash are on holiday at the beach. Mommy Bus and Mommy Fire Truck are preparing a barbecue. And Buster and Ash are building an amazing sand castle. Whoa, those waves are really coming in. Quick, the sand castle could be ruined. Ash to the rescue. He's protecting the castle with a wall of sand. Great idea, Ash. Oh, look, it's Iggy, the ice cream truck. Hooray! Oh, no. Ash's wall couldn't stop the waves. They've ruined their sand castle. Buster is very sad. But Ash has got a plan to save it. Buster is too upset to help. Maybe an ice cream will cheer him up. I wonder what flavors he'll choose. Wow, that's a huge ice cream. Whoa, steady! <gasps> Ash is still fixing the sand castle. Buster could get Ash an ice cream too, but he's upset with Ash because his wall didn't protect the sand castle. Buster's only getting ice cream for himself. Whoa! Ash has rebuilt the sand castle. Good as new! Buster now feels bad he didn't get Ash an ice cream, so he's giving Ash his. Be careful, don't drop it. Iggy gives them another cone. Now they can share the ice cream. Yum, yum, delicious. There's Buster and Scout. They're having great fun playing in all the muddy puddles. But, oh no. Poor Scout is feeling a bit sick. Aw, it's okay. They can play together again tomorrow. Now Buster is heading inside and grabbing a snack. But, oh dear, he's not washed his muddy wheels before eating that apple. That's not very clean. And he's left muddy wheel prints everywhere. The next morning, Mommy comes to wake up Buster. But, oh no! Buster doesn't look well at all! Poor Buster! Whoa, he's got a temperature. He'll have to stay home today to get better. Now it's time for some medicine. Buster doesn't like the look of it, but Mommy knows it'll help him get better. There, that wasn't so bad. Now Buster just has to get some rest. 
The next morning, Buster is feeling much better. <laughs> oh. Scout's feeling better too. They can go outside and play again. But wait, <laughs> Mommy says they should wash their hands first so they won't get ill again. <laughs> Good job, everyone! Wait! Mommy has another idea! They can wear these face masks, too, so they don't get sick! There! Now Buster and Scout are ready to play outside safely! They're so happy now that they're feeling better again! <laughs> Buster, Scout, are you practicing your Halloween scares? Hmm? Uh-huh! We're gonna break the Wheelieville Super Scare Record! And scare everyone in town! Starting with... You, Monty! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know I'm unscarable? Nothing frightens me! Ah! <gasps> huh? Okay, apart from rabbits. Ugh! Oh, they give me the creepy cheapies. Rabbits, huh? Come on, Buster, we've got some scaring to do. Next stop, Super Scare Record. Let's go! Careful not to scare anyone too much. You don't want to upset them. Nobody is scared of me. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Not trash. It's Buster! are setting up a very special party. Don't eat the food yet, Buster. You've got to wait until your guests arrive. Oh, look, here they are. It's Scout, Ash, and Bandit. Everyone's so excited for the party. What's Bandit up to? Hmm, that cake looks yummy. Not yet, Bandit. <laughs> First, we're playing party games. They're playing musical statues. They have to dance until the music stops. Great move, Scout. And freeze. Oh no, Scout is losing balance. And so is Buster. They are out of the game. It's only Bandit and Ash left. And dance. Oh. 
bandit is losing balance. Oh no! He knocked Ash over so he could win, and now Ash is out of the game. But Grandpa didn't see Bandit cheating. Hmm, that wasn't very nice, Bandit. Now they're playing Pass the Parcel. They pass the present, and when the music stops, they can take off the wrapping paper. Hooray for Ash! <gasps> Bandit has cheated again! He took the parcel after the music stopped. <laughs> Poor Ash! <laughs> Bandit isn't playing very fair. Buster is telling Bandit that he's making Ash feel upset. He needs to think about how his actions affect the feelings of others. It's time for some birthday cake! Blow out the candles! Go, Buster! <laughs> what a feast! All the delicious food has been eaten. Well, almost. Don't worry, Ash. Have some birthday cake. Bandit feels really bad for making Ash sad. Bandit is really sorry and gives Ash his ball back. It's okay, Bandit. Ash forgives you. But remember, it's not all about the winning. It's about having fun together. Buster's kindness saved the party. Happy birthday, Buster. Next stop, ice cream. Roll up, roll up. Time to try the new ice cream car wash on this hot, sunny day. All exciting flavors! Mmm, <laughs> so many flavors! I want to try them all! Not so fast, Buster! Only one ice cream per vehicle per day! Those are the rules! Huh? But it's so hot! No buts, Bandit! Now, skedaddle! Why does Mr. Rubble always ruin the fun? If only we could sneak past him. <gasps> Wait, Bandit. I've got a brilliant idea. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rubble, come look at this. There's a cloud in the shape of a forklift. It looks just like you. What? Where? Look, it's up there. Look. That's where I'm looking, but I can't see it. To the left and the right. Well, we then. Mr. Rubble, did you even know what a cloud is? Bandit, let's go. Uh, oh well, my mistake. Bye. What? Hey, stop right there. Run, run, run. <laughs> Come back here, you little tire skitters. <laughs> This way! What? No! This way! That's a dead end down there. <gasps> oh? Huh? Run! Run! <sighs> Stop this flim flammery act. Ice cream avalanche! Uh! Ah! Ew. Buster, Bandit, why did you take all this ice cream? I'm sorry. We just wanted to try all the flavors. And we were so hot! This ice cream was for everyone to share. Taking it for yourselves wasn't a nice thing to do. But you know, all these flavors melted together taste pretty good. Maybe you'd like to share it with your friends? Roll up! Roll up! Get your rainbow ice cream here! All the flavors in just one scoop! <gasps> It's a sunny day at Buster's house. 
And Buster and Grandpa are having a great time playing together. Mommy Bus is off to work. Will Buster and Grandpa be able to make dinner together? Whoa, some real cooking! Buster is very excited. Let's cook! Grandpa sets up the stove. Hmm, but what comes next? Buster has an idea. It's chocolate sauce. Hmm, Grandpa doesn't think that's quite right for dinner. Let's take a look at the recipe. They've gathered all the ingredients together. Buster starts by adding some flour to the bowl. Whoa, easy there, Buster. Oops, the flour has gone everywhere. Now Grandpa and Buster are covered in flour. Buster is adding the finishing touches to the mixture. Careful the mixture doesn't go everywhere. Great job, Buster. Oops, Grandpa's tomato sauce has splattered all over the floor. And what's going on at the stove? The pot is bubbling over. Oh, look, it steamed up his glasses and now he can't see where he's going. Watch out, Grandpa. Oh, dear, this isn't going very well. Grandpa and Buster are clearing up the mess. But Mommy Bus is coming home from work. Uh-oh, they still haven't made dinner. What are they going to do? Grandpa gets some fish fingers out of the freezer. Aha, this gives Buster an idea. Time for chocolate sauce. Mommy Bus is wondering what Buster and Grandpa have made for dinner, just as they're finishing up. I wonder what they've cooked. It's fish fingers and green beans. And chocolate sauce. Are you sure about this, Buster? He gives it a try. Hmm, delicious! Mommy also gives it a try. And it's surprisingly tasty. Well done, Buster. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh, look! Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh dear! Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed! Great work, Buster! Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. Buster, Bandit, and Scout are having a sleepover. But they're still wide awake. They're having a great time staying up. They're too excited to go to sleep. <gasps> Who's that? It's Grandpa Bus. He says it's getting late. It's time to go to bed. They can't play games and be up all night. Hmm, maybe this night light will help them get to sleep. Hmm. 
Wow, look at those stars. Buster loves stars. He wonders what it would be like to be a space rocket flying fast through them. Oh, look, it's space rocket Buster. Buster and his friends are using their imagination. They're flying through space. Check it out. There's Earth. They're going to race to it. Ready, steady, go! Buster is in the lead. Oh no! Bandit knocked him off course! Aw, oh, now Buster's far behind. How can he zoom back ahead? Aha! Whoa! Buster is spinning around Saturn! Now he's going really fast! What a clever idea! He's overtaking Bandit and Scout. Hmm, what's Bandit up to now? <laughs> Careful! Meteors! Bandit is throwing them at Buster and Scout! Hmm, they have to stop him! They're throwing an even bigger meteor back at Bandit! That'll teach him! And the race is back on! Buster and Scout are neck and neck! Nearly there! Space Rocket Buster wins the race! Way to go! Uh-oh! Busted! Again! Grandpa heard them playing. That was a lot of fun. But now it really is time to go to bed. Good night, everyone. Ho, ho, ho! It's me, Santa! I fly on my sleigh, delivering all the presents in just one night. How you ask? Well, it's simple. Magic. Magic? Santa can't deliver all those presents in one night. He must have robot helpers. And sleighs don't fly. Maybe he uses a helicopter. No, guys. He uses magic. <laughs> <laughs> Magic's not real. Huh? Whoa! That looks magical. I bet it leads right to Santa. Next stop, Santa! Buster, are you sure about this? Yes. It has to lead to Santa. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> there! Guys, did you see? Huh? <laughs> oh, Buster, I'm hungry. Maybe we should go back home? No, we can find Santa. We just need to follow the magic. Oh, Buster, magic isn't real. <laughs> 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 oh, maybe magic isn't real. But Christmas is the most magical time of the year. I can't give up now. Go, Buster! Huh? Huh? We're almost there. Come on! Ho, ho, ho! A Buster Scout and Diddly! Fancy seeing you here. Santa! We found you! Does your sleigh really fly? Do you really deliver all the presents in one night? Of course. How? Why, with magic. I told you so. <laughs> now I'd best be off, but I could use a bit of a push. Would you help me? Ho, ho, ho! Uh, Off yeah. we go! Merry Christmas, Bumper Bunch! Ooh. Oh, wow! We're flying! Without wings! Oh, rockets! Magic is real! Merry 
Merry Christmas, kids! For Super Buster! <laughs> Next stop, Snowball Fight! Oh. Huh? <gasps> <Ooh>. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm Professor Excavator, the greatest snowball thrower! No, I'm the greatest! Nice try, but you can't get up here Unless you have digger tracks. We'll see about that. Ha. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Excavator like this. We have to work together and use our special powers. Go Buster! Guys, I have a perfect plan. Mwahaha! <laughs> It's a very blustery day on the farm. <laughs> Look, I think Terry has something he wants to show Buster. Hey, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. He's an old friend of Terry's. Say hello, Buster. <laughs> it must be so much fun to be able to float through the air like a balloon. But, uh-oh, the wind is picking up. I hope Monty doesn't blow away. No, the rope snapped, and now the wind is blowing Monty away. Quick, Buster, you've got to chase after him, or who knows where he'll be blown off to. Monty is so high up. How will you get him down? Look, a rope. I wonder what Buster has in mind. Hurry up, guys. You've got to get ahead of Monty. What's Buster going to do? Oh, of course, a lasso. Rope him up, cowboy. Ah, so close. But Monty is still floating away. There has to be some way to rescue Monty. <gasps> What's Buster seen now? It's Iggy the ice cream truck with lots of balloons. I think I know Buster's plan. Look, Buster's tied all the balloons to himself and now he's floating into the sky. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Grab hold of Monty. Almost. Almost, almost. You've got him. Well done, Buster. You saved the day. Monty looks very grateful. 
Ah, uh, Monty's tied up safely again now. He's not going to float away like that balloon. Nice work, Buster. <laughs>